If you want to learn how to use X Design, you're at the right place. We're going to split the screen right down the middle. On the left side, we're going to model Model Mania 2018 part using SolidWorks. On the right side of the screen, we're going to model the same part but using X Design. That way, you get to see the many similarities and slight differences between the two softwares. I'll show you how to overcome minor roadblocks that may have otherwise taken you quite a bit of time to figure out on your own. And ultimately, the purpose of this video is to help expedite your learning curve using X Design and onboarding a new platform. So let's get started. The first 30 seconds are going to be SolidWorks, followed by the next 30 seconds using X Design, back and forth. I'll start on the front plane and I'll get out get the basic shape of my design out. I'm going to start by drawing a construction line. This is going to be 40 millimeters vertical and then we'll add a couple of circles uh, 48 which is 24 times 2 and then 22 which is 11 times 2 as indicated on the drawing. Uh, then we're going to draw down uh, those legs or our fingers that hang down the side, close them up and then capture the tangency as we sketch that. I'm going to add a dimension to define that draft on the outside finger. That's going to be 7 degrees. And then we'll mirror this to the other side. So once we have that all mirrored, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and Control and then select those contours and go ahead and extrude this about the midplane. And we'll just pull this out. Now I don't know what the depth is, so I'm just going to make this 40 millimeters. Right off the bat, you may be able to notice that I access X Design through Google Chrome, my preferred browser, which means that X Design is a cloud based app. You can access it from the browser, and there's no heavy or long download required, which means you can begin designing a lot faster. Also, all your designs are neatly and securely stored in the cloud, so those are two benefits. Now we're looking at planes, we want to select the front plane and begin a sketch. It automatically goes to a normal two view, which is exactly what we wanted. We're going to assign this some dimensions. You can use the shortcut D as in dog to assign the dimensions on your keyboard. We want it to actually be a construction line. And I'm going to go back to the sketch tab and create two circles, one 22 and the other one 40 millimeters. Now, the following is something that I do want you to watch out for. X Design, you know, as opposed to SolidWorks, is not as intuitive in predicting the geometric relations that you may wish. Geometric relations. Now, this is one of the reasons why you're watching this video, so pay close attention. As I have the sketch line tool, I may want the software to automatically predict that I want the line that I'm about to sketch, this dot, to be horizontal to the dot in the middle of the circle. But it didn't predict that for us. So we have to go back, control, click, click, and assign the relations. So be careful when using the relations. You may have to go back, do a couple more clicks, but by all means, that's not a deal breaker. The line, tangent, and may I add, this is also from May 2022. So by the time you watch this video, that feature will probably be fixed. So that's seven degrees. I'm going to select these three lines using a box selection tool. And if you follow my cursor on the right side, I'm going to use the mirror. Seems like an error appeared. Now this is good to go over this in videos. What happens? We have an error. Well, it doesn't seem to be providing any prompts as to what may be the issue. So that's another difference. But thankfully I can do control Z, just like when you're writing an email to undo and see what the issue may be. Okay, let's try that again. We're going to do select the three lines, mirror, mirror about line eight, and this time it seemed to go well. All right, it predicted that we wanted line eight. That's good, intuitive. Now we want to do the extrusion. We go to feature on the bottom, extrude. We don't want the entire sketch, so only some regions we want to extrude this region, this region, and this region. It should give me a preview. The errors look that they're different from the errors that you would get in SOLIDWORKS. Let's try that feature again. Extrude this profile, this region, and this region. I see what the matter is. It 
wants to predict that it wants to do the entire sketch. So once you deselect the entire sketch, then the, the software can interpret. That is actually what you want to do. Now I'm showing you those mistakes on purpose. Of course, I can record this multiple times, but the mistakes are good so that when you see them, you know what may be going wrong so that you don't get frustrated on your own. You know what the workarounds are, which I'm showing you right now. Midplane 40. At this, at this point, because we're going to cut some material away. So I'll pick up the silhouette edge at the top, transition down, and then just by moving my mouse back to the uh, original point, I can transition into a tangent arc, and we'll add a vertical center line, and I'm just going to drag this down onto the origin, and that actually establishes my symmetry for my design. So we'll make this two degrees of draft as indicated on the drawing, and then we'll add a 10 millimeter circle in there. Add another dimension here at the bottom. This is going to be 10 millimeters, and our sketch is fully defined. Now we're going to cut some material away. We're going to go through all both sides and then flip the side to cut. That's going to cut material away on the outside. Let's replicate what we just saw from in SolidWorks into X Design. We're going to open up a sketch on the side view. Now pay close attention now that I click on the sketch line tool. This is another difference. X Design isn't recognizing this horizontal line. I want to reference it and click on it. And as you can see, it's not referencing it. Now my instinct would tell me in SolidWorks, if I go to the wireframe view, it may recognize that horizontal line. So let's try that here in X Design. You may think that this is, is the cube, but it's actually to go to the wireframe, you come here. You click on that cylinder. This is the wireframe view. And it's still not recognizing this horizontal line. Let me tilt so you can see what I'm referring about. So then what would be the workaround if, if you can find that? So let's click N as in Nancy on the keyboard to do a normal to view. Let's return and give our design a little bit more color like it was before. And let's replicate, let's try to replicate to the best of our ability what we saw in SolidWorks. So return, when you return the line tool, it's going to create that arc. Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically give us the horizontal constraints that I mentioned before. So I'm going to give it horizontal constraints. That can really trip you up if you're not accustomed to that. Well, let's see. We want to make this dot coincident with this line. So a workaround, the software does detect this vertical line. Let's convert the entities on the bottom right corner. And I want this dot and this dot to be horizontal then I want this dot to be vertical from here good it's starting to come together this arc tangent with the horizontal line we're gonna give it some dimensions 10 okay now we're gonna make a construction line click on it construction and I believe this was two degrees here good now I want to mirror this line we've done this before the mirror plane or the mirror line would be this one perfect I'm going to close the sketch we're going to create a circle with a diameter of 10 Now this is also something different from SolidWorks. When you go to features, you may not find the cut feature. So what you do is you go to the extrude, a little pop-up comes up and you click on cut. Now this is the cut. I wanna do a flip side cut, one of my favorite features. So everything that's not in the sketch will be removed. And then we do a through all both. Some similar commands to SolidWorks. This is the preview. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. And there we have uh, the overall shape. So on the top plane, I'm going to sketch a circle. This is going to be 26, actually two circles, and 18. This is going to define that cylindrical boss that we have in there. And we'll go ahead and extrude this. I'm going to choose the From option and choose an offset of 67 millimeters, reverse the direction, and then let's try up the surface and choose that inside surface. So that's not going to work because our boss is larger than that inside surface. So I'm going to choose up to vertex 
and that'll establish some parametrics in my model instead of just putting a blind uh, dimension on there. I'm going to reuse that sketch to cut that material away at the top and uh, this is going to go through all, select the contour and we'll choose that inside contour, reverse the direction, it'll go through everything. Let's replicate what we just saw in SolarWorks and X-Design. We're going to open up a sketch in the top plane. We're going to do two circles. One is 18 and the other one 26. Twenty-six. Now what I'm going to show you next is a little different from SOLIDWORKS. So as you recall, we want the extrusion to start up here 67 millimeters away from here, so it's an offset. We go to Features, the Extrusion, and it's, it's a little hidden, so you have to go to Advanced, the Start Condition, but if you read the commands, you'll be able to understand what to do. From Offset, 67, we want to flip the direction, and we want to use the vertex. Now, this is the difference. In SOLIDWORKS, if you hover your mouse over the vertex, it will recognize that you want it to go in that direction. But in X Design, you have to communicate with the software a little bit more. So you go down to the drop down, up to geometry, hover the mouse again, and then it recognizes that that's what you want to do. Let's make sure that we have the entirety of the sketch, sketch four, just to make sure I'm going to delete the entire sketch. Okay, perfect. Now we should have the solid. So let's reuse that sketch. I'm going to open up another sketch here and I'm going to convert the entities from the sketch before. I don't need that circle, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to do the cut through all. As you recall, my friends, going to extrusion, cut, nothing to cut. Well, that's because you're not cutting through geometry, so I need to tell it cut through all both. Perfect. Now we're going to need to remove the extra material created by the boss. So I'm going to create a plane, sketch on the front plane and convert those two uh, selected entity edges into sketch geometry. Extrude this through all both directions and it just cuts that material away for us. Now we're going to go back to the front plane and start a sketch. Essentially replicate what we just saw there in SOLIDWORKS. Do some convert entities. I also want to convert the entities of this line here. I did that nice little shortcut you saw. Let's try to extend and see if it connects. Exactly. Once again, that's the same problem with the relations. I want the software to understand me. And I, I'm trying to tell it, stop the dot right there and create a geometric constraint. But it's not doing that. So release, come back, click on the dot, click on the other dot, and make these coincident. Now that is a beautiful workaround that I was struggling with before. So hopefully this helps you in your learning curve and makes you aware of what to do when you're becoming frustrated. So we're going to do an extrusion features. Now the same process we've done before. Cut, throw in both directions. Now we're starting to get the hang of this and we're picking up speed. Bonus alert, bonus alert. I want to show you something that X Design does that SOLIDWORKS doesn't. Let's go back to the extrusion feature. And this is what we call a super feature. As you can see in the drop down, we want to actually do a revolve with the same sketch that we had. So we click revolve. I didn't have to delete the feature, you may have noticed. And I'm going to select the profile sketch. Let's see, object, I actually want you to select a sketch line, this other line, revolve around the axis, this one, and I want to add. So it's going to create a sphere from the sketch that we had before, and I didn't have to delete any features. Now let's do Control Z to undo that, because I was happy with what we had before. Finally, we need to add fillets, so I'm just going to go ahead and add fillets onto my model. These are going to be two millimeters. All I need to do is choose those two faces and SOLIDWORKS wraps all those fillets all the way around. Now this isn't necessary. I like to do it just for visual purposes. Change the color of the fillet. It helps me visualize it. Now to be completely honest, I've struggled using fillets in X-Design. If we go to features, we find the fillets. You saw how easy it was in SOLIDWORKS. We clicked on two faces and the software intuitively knew what it is that we were getting at. 
and here if I try to apply a two millimeter fillet everywhere it fails to create the fillet and uh, I'm not sure exactly why because we followed everything the same as we did in SOLIDWORKS so uh, my instinct is to right click here but I can't right click so I have to deselect one at a time and it only leaves me the option I already explored around advanced and I couldn't find the workaround is to click on the edges and I suspect by clicking here the software will try to predict what it is that I want to do but even then it didn't select everything that I wanted so I have to click on keep on clicking the edges keep on clicking the little light lighting and continue to do this so this is a lot more clicks it's failing okay that one so you really have to scan your model this is not very convenient at all so watch out for the fillets and X design because you may be tempted to just click the green check mark and you haven't fully filleted your part now that could be costly if you're not careful so I have to go around click on all these fillets it's not going to do it exactly how we want it to because I wanted to the fillet to propagate through here and it oh it's doing it now okay it wasn't doing it before and also on the other side okay the other side is already filleted I'm going to click the green check mark okay we have the fillets what I want to do is make the fillet feature red so my instinct is to right click on it but I don't see the little color wheel that SOLIDWORKS is famous for so I'm going to click on the face there I see the color wheel and pick a face faces okay the face I'm going to go to color red apply and continue okay please choose a color to display I chose red apply and continue mm, for some reason it's not working pick a face again let's try it again red apply and continue there it goes okay so now I suppose the only workaround is for you to click every face at a time but that seems very inconvenient let me do control click okay so I have to control click all of the faces it's not going to just automatically propagate which is an inconvenience so apply okay so I suppose that's how you can change the color of a face but I haven't figured out how to change the color of a feature if you know leave in the comments below in conclusion, I must say that SOLIDWORKS has been around for 25 years and going strong and X-Design has been around for 6, so naturally SOLIDWORKS is going to have a lot more features, less bugs, and a little more intuitive than X-Design, but nonetheless, as you saw in this comparison video, we're able to recreate the same features except for the fillet coloring feature in both platforms. It may have taken a little bit longer, one of them was maybe more intuitive, but we should take into account the pros that X-Design offers cloud base no heavy long downloads so you can get started designing right away in a computer that's not as powerful and also all the storage is safely secured on the cloud so like any decision in life there are pros and cons if you stuck around this long why not try x design and get your feet wet